Hi everybody, it's me, Jenny, here at Craft Creations, and I am back to share a little bit of fun with you guys. So, as you saw a little, not too long ago, um, an unboxing I did for my little crafty shop, um, it's Lisa's shop, so yeah, guys, I'm so excited, I just, I can't even... I just can't even. So let's just get into it. So it's not going to be a long video, but I just wanted to show you one of the dies that I used. So it's this one and it's, I mean, everything. So you get the Memdex. Actually, let me just take this out a, so that there's not a glare and you can actually see what it is I'm talking about. Okay. So the, you get all of these dies with it. So you get the Memdex one and obviously this makes a shaker. Um, so you have these parts here, then you have this part. What do you ask that is? Well, I will show you. <laughs> then you get these two and then this one, which is best friend. So it comes with the, the shadow in the back and then the actual saying. So I did cut those out. I was originally going to use them, but uh, I didn't. And I, I want your opinion on it if I made the right choice. So basically you get the shadow part and then the words, and then you put them together, and then that is what you get. Isn't that gorgeous? And obviously you can cut them out in any colors, any kinds of paper that you have. Um, and then obviously I have this one. Um, so yeah, it's just a beautiful die. And honestly, guys, even though it's a Memdex, there are so many things that you can do with this die that don't even have to include a Memdex if you don't want it to. Totally up to you. So with all of that said, I went to work. <laughs> oh, and also guys, don't forget, if you, there is anything in the shop that you guys like. And as always, I will leave all of the information in the description bar below. Please use my code. It's all caps, J-E-N-N-I-E, -N -N -E, Jenny, and the number one and zero. So Jenny 10, and you get 10% off your order. Like that's amazing. So, and it does help me. It doesn't give me any money, but it does help me in the way that Lisa will know that you guys are watching my videos and I'm reaching you guys. And because of my video, um, you are using the code. So it just lets her know that I'm hopefully doing something right. <laughs> that makes any sense. So with all of that said, guys, I'm so excited. So originally I just did this part, right? But you know me, it's like go big or go home. So I went big, not too big, but I did go big. Um, so let me just show you. I made two. Oh my gosh, guys. I love them. I hope you guys like them. I mean, they're cute, you know, like it's Valentine's Day and okay. So are you ready? Here, let me just shut up and show you. Okay. So do, 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 And then look at this, guys. See, remember this part I was telling you? Ooh, what is that, do you ask? This right here? Well, this is how I used it. Let me show you, let me show you. <laughs> so I had these amazing um, letters. So I put X and O for X's and O's. Ah, duh. Um, but yeah, so I did the X and the O theme on this one. And I just love the paper in the background. It's this cute little cloud with little rosy cheeks. Um, and then I did hearts and flowers and just yummy stuff for the um, shaker bits. And then these are just stickers and these pieces right here are chipboard. And I was gonna use her bow die and put it in the middle, but honestly, I, I didn't do it because I think it would take away from the hearts. So I just went with a smaller bow um, I use the pastel colors because I'm actually using this for a swap that I am in. Um, but yeah, I just thought this came out so stinking cute. So I did this one. This one was like the more cutesy one because it's happy Valentine's day and you have your XOs over here and then the cute little ladybugs on the bottom. And then guys, I did the, oh, and what's really cool too is that I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell. Let me see if I can do this. So this heart is a pocket. So I could put all of my, I can either put my information all over the back. 
Um, and this does stand in a, um, a regular size Memdex thing. Here, let me show you so you know what the heck I'm talking about. <laughs> but, all right, let me take this out. Okay, so see this? So it does fit and it is tall enough so it can go right in and it doesn't like interfere with anything. So it's, I thought that was a good thing because I know a lot of us put, you know, our Memdex cards in, in a holder like that. Um, so it was important to me that it fit. I didn't put it too low so that it, you know, it was too wide, which was good. So I did this one. So I, like I said, you can either put the information all over the back. Um, and I put the heart here just to cover up all the pieces. Did I do it on this one? Yeah, I did. Um, so you can just leave it like this and put all your information all over, which would be very cute. Um, or you can just, you know, do it on a piece of paper and then put it stick it in the pocket and then you have it for back there. So that's the X and O one. And then this one, I love this one too. So it's the same thing, just a little different. So this was more of the love theme. <laughs> so you have a heart here that says love. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I have a tickle in my throat. And then you have the arrow. Um, I was going to do a key, but I just really love this arrow. So I went with that. And then you have the hearts down here. Hug me, be mine. Um, again, shaker. Oh, I'm just loving all the different colored shaker bits. There's hearts and is there flowers? Yeah, flowers, um, small and a little bit larger. And then we have the arrows here, then the hearts. And then again, the bow, I didn't want to do too big of a bow because it would take away. And then I was also concerned because this is the same color that you weren't going to be able to tell that there were two hearts here. So I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. I fell in love with this. I love it. I'm going to do a few more, not like this, obviously a little different. Um, and check out the rest of the design team because everybody has done something a little different and it's just absolutely adorable. I and mean, we have some really creative and talented people on the design team. So definitely, if you get a chance, go check them out. Um, all of the links for the shop and for Lisa's channel and everything will be in the description bar below. So please go check it out. Again, if you decide, even if you're just going to purchase one, one thing, um, no matter what, make sure you use my code if you wouldn't mind. Um, and if you don't want to use my code, that's fine. But get somebody's code from the design team so that you can save yourself 10%. Um, that would be awesome for you. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so this is the die. I absolutely love it. I am having a blast with it and I will be back on very soon to show you some more fun things that we can do with her dies. So I hope to see you in my next video. Please do all the YouTube thingies that we do, the like, the comment, the subscribe, the sharing. <laughs> I would greatly appreciate it. And um, yeah, most importantly, let me know what you guys think. Do you like these? Do you think it came out cute? Um, oh, and also I didn't do the best friend thing because again, I was just too afraid. Like it would be too much. Like if I put it there, you know what I'm saying? Like I just, I wasn't sure how to use it. Now, obviously on the next one, I know exactly how I'm going to use it with a cute little whatever. But for these two right here, I just went cutesy and simple, I guess. I don't know how simple that is, but you know what I'm trying to say? <laughs> I hope you do because I don't have a clue. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, so these are my little shaker, well, I don't know, a little, but my shaker memdex. Um, I love them. I hope you guys do too. And I can't wait to hear and read your comments. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys. Have a good one. Talk to you soon.